Soldiers of Reddit. What was something that was so funny even the drill sergeant couldn't help but giggle. Dude was told he couldn't trim his unibrow. If he did he'd have to shave both eyebrows as well. So that's what dude did. Shaved it all. DS lost it laughing and then made the private report every morning to have him sharpied on with a new expression every day. Added, the best ones were when he was given two squares as eyebrows or a constant surprised look. And thanks for my first gold. I shall name him Philip. Someone in basic threw their half-eaten schnitzel into the toilet and tried to flush it. It didn't flush. He left. So we are all in our rooms as we hear one of our drills scream to get out and line up. We line up and he was one of the super serious guys. 190 meters tall. Easily 100 kilograms of pure muscle and always mean mugging everyone. He starts screaming at us telling us that we are pigs. No one knew what went on. Then he started yelling someone threw a ducking schnitzel into the toilet as he finished he started smiling. First time in months I saw the dude smile. Everyone started laughing hard. He got angry again and started repeating himself. He starts laughing once he hits the schnitzel part again. We all laugh again. He just tells us we are dumbasses and someone better fish that piece of schnitzel out us app. From a friend at air assault. They were fast roping down off towers and there was one guy that was deathly afraid of heights but was still making his way to pass and he was just standing there and the instructor yells something along the lines of stop being a poo say and go. He proceeds to jump into the rope. Lose his grip and fall the entire way down while screaming air assault until he hit the ground. He broke his arm and had to go with the next class. You have about 30 seconds to unduck yourself starting 28 seconds ago. I don't know if that was an old saying amongst all of them or he made it up on the spot. But goddamn did I almost ducking lose it. Fort Benning. Drills were searching for contraband after a private was found with chewing tobacco. One of the DS got a broom handle and started pushing the ceiling tiles up to see if anything would slide out. A happy sock fell out and hit him in the face. The other DS walked off into the office. He was cough laughing the whole time. We were smoked into oblivion. Navy boot camp in Orlando, Florida in August of 1989. The company was split up in two. On either side of the center line facing the front of the bay. Our company commander had us doing four count jumping jacks where we all had to clap on the second and fourth together. It had to sound like one clap. There were 68 of us and even though we struggled. All of us eventually got it. Well. All of us but one. This poor guy just could not clap with the rest of us. He was eventually pulled up to the front of the bay where he would lead the exercise. At the last second. Every time. He would change his pace and ruin it. The company commander smiled throughout and eventually just keeled over laughing at this guy. It's funny though that I don't remember being angry even though we must have been doing jumping jacks for about 3 hours in 100 degree heat. I do remember that the only reason we quit was because the cement floor was too slippery with sweat to safely continue. OMG. I have the best story for this. Basic training. Some dude was getting a reprimand from the course officer because he was a bag of fail. He got briefed by the platoon sergeant beforehand to march to the door. Salute the officer. And wait to be instructed what to do. But this guy was as dumb as a brick. So he marches to the door. And stands there looking stupid. The sergeant waits a good long while hoping this kid will clue him. And nothing happens. Finally he yells at him well. Aren't you going to pay compliments to the officer? And numpty stammers for a bit and finally chirps out. Um. Up. Uh, you're looking really nice today sir. Sergeant yells at him to GTFO. And slams the door and the entire course staff nearly die from laughter. It took an hour for us to stop laughing long enough to call him back and actually give him the reprimand. I was on the floor with tears in my eyes. Four years afterwards. Anytime we would see that officer we would stop him to tell him he was looking nice. It never stopped being funny. Not a soldier but an airman. Hopefully you still like the story. We are out on the pad standing in formation waiting for breakfast just like any other BMT morning. 
we are at the end of our training so the MTIs tend to not harass you as much in your last week or so at basic. Our MTI has a doctor's appointment or something so he has a female MTI in the squadron we have seen from time to time watch us while he is gone. So she takes us all from parade dress to attention and addresses the dorm chief, lead trainee position in the flight. He lets out the fatal response of yes sir. To whatever the duck she said to him. She's a petite athletic looking redhead and would not be mistaken for a sir. She gets right in his face as it leaves his mouth and starting yelling. Ah, You make Emmy so mad I just want to whip out my big dig and slap you across the face with it. I fire her out on. There were 3 other flights with like 20-40 trainees each including their MTIs immediately dying laughing. Even she only held it together for a few seconds of being angry red in the face before laughing. I think you would get in some serious trouble these days yelling great lines like that. Our sergeant liked to take his smoky bear hat and tap recruits on the bridge of their nose while yelling at them that he wasn't touching them. I happened to fall in behind him walking down the bay. He thought it would be a good idea to spin around and poke the brim of his hat into somebody's face. Hit me square in the chest. I'm 6 feet 6 inches tall. I can't even remember what he yelled exactly. But he was trying very hard not to laugh. Then spun back around and went into his office with the assistant TI. They started laughing so loud that we all heard it. Bay inspection day. The company first SGT and commander are going through each platoon's bay and checking everyone's sheet and casually grilling the recruits on the base's command tree. Our company first SGT goes to our platoon leader and asks him what position does command sergeant major insert name hold in this base? It's a trick question. The answer simply being command sergeant major. Anyways. The platoon leader hesitates before belting out something extremely retarded. I don't remember verbatim. But it was something similar to Command Sergeant Major insert name as the Star Commander Leader Chief of Fort Benning. First Sergeant. Everyone freezes. Even the drill sergeants don't even breathe. The company first SGT stares at this guy for like 20 seconds before muttering loudly. You duck in retard. And shakes his head and leaves the bay. Doesn't even punish him. Even the DS is laughing and calling him a ducking dumbass was pretty excellent and everyone broke out laughing when they left. One time my ankles were legit hurting really bad. Cankles and new boots yay. So I asked the DS if I could go to the infirmary. He said yes. I said. Thanks. Dude. He laughed and said you know I gotta smoke you for that and he did but it was nice to see the human side for the first time. A master corporal was calling drill for us once and his voice cracked on the command. So he went from yelling in his normal kind of deep voice, he was a big dude, to loud shrill dude impersonating a woman kind of voice. Everyone took a second but the other instructors for our platoon cracked and everyone just kind of laughed. That's what happens when men wear tights too often. Years ago while doing basic. During the course. You obviously have lots of drill training. Marching. Standing at attention. At ease turning etc. We're all in the drill hall practicing away. When somehow one of the recruits lets out a high pitched squeal and falls over. Dude managed to squish his nuts together somehow while coming to attention. All three instructors sprinted over and started jacking him up and were laughing so hard at the same time that they are almost crying. Not exactly a drill sergeant. But during basic training we were marching in formation when we suddenly hear a thump. Turns out one of our comrades dropped his helmet. Of course our instructor saw this and responds with. Ein Deutscher Helm for Nerinmal, a German helmet is only dropped once. Pretty common military textbook phrase. He commands the soldier to pick up his helmet and we carry on marching. About 30 seconds later we hear the same sound again. So I turn around and ask myself how you can possibly fail the simple task of helmet retention. You basically just clip it to your carry rig. While already waiting to hear the instructor saying the same phrase again. What do I see? Our instructor turning around. Doing his personal walk of shame and picking up his helmet. Let's just say we weren't short on beer when we celebrated the end of basic. When we were doing combatives. 
I made a Pulp Fiction reference because the guy wrestling kind of looked like Samuel L. Jackson and I caught one of the drill sergeants chuckling. All I said was does Marcellus Wallace look like a rich lol? In Air Force BMT you have to carry this stupid flashlight with you when marching that had this yellow cone on it. One guy in my flight got tired of holding it so he decided to have his belt hold it like a Jedi would have done with his lightsaber. Well the instructor sees this and tells him that he has to quick pull out your lightsaber and fight Death Vader right behind you, another trainee. Watching these two idiots have a lightsaber fight was the funniest thing I've seen which must have been for my instructor since he walks away belly laughing at the two retarded Star Wars nerds. After a long and horrible 20 mile run in 100 degree temperatures. The DS leans way in towards one private who looks ready to die. I bet you wish I'd die just so you could piss on my grave. Right. No. Drill sergeant. And why is that? Cause once I get out of the army. I'm never standing in another line again. Drill sergeant. Navy boot camp 2008. We had a big Samoan guy in our division who loved singing Disney songs. This dude started singing a whole new world in a shower with 80 other dudes and all of us started singing along. I can remember our RDC just shaking his head and grinning. To conscripts, friends of mine, were in front of Sergeant Major's office to report sick. Our drill sergeant walks past them to ask what's wrong. Female says her jaw is hurting enough to see a doc. And the guy pointed down on his private part. Drill sergeant cracked up laughing. No. The two things wasn't related. Every time an instructor enters the room. The first person who sees them yells room. And everybody in the room immediately stands at attention until told to ease. This day. The instructor enters to room while the first guy was mid-sentence. He sees the instructor. Comma what? Everybody jolts to attentions. For tomorrow's inspection we are going to, he pauses. Turns to the first guy. Left double quotation mark. Did you yell what? Dude nods his head. The instructor laughed. It wasn't a drill sergeant. But a small group leader or SGL. The equivalent for the school that you go to when you become a sergeant. A couple of rangers put a blow up doll above my buddy's bunk. The SGL was hinted that there was contraband in the room. The SGL came in swinging a golf club and poking ceiling tiles. Out drops a blow up doll with shut up itch written in duct tape over its mouth. My friend laughs and says that ain't mine. They flip the doll over and it says Will's itch on its ass. Former German army officer here. When I was a platoon commander in basic training. There was a recruit who was really small in height. I'd say 150 centimeters. 155 tops. Anyway. One day the platoon was cleaning their rooms and one of them co's entered said recruits room. Sure enough. One of them notices the superior. Yells attention and everyone stops doing what they're doing and go into attention. But the little guy was just in the process of cleaning the windows and just so happened to fit right into the window frame in an upright position. So as then co scans the room. He is presented with the sight of three huge border building soldiers and a tiny one. Standing in attention within a window frame. The poor guy just lost it. When he returned to me. He was still crying tears. This is a bit of a long one back in 1990 I was doing basic in the British army. And we were having a room inspection. So in walks the platoon lieutenant. Sergeant and corporal. They start looking around then the officer goes to one of my roommates, nicknamed Fontes talked with a posh accent. So Fontes I hear you want to be an officer Fontes yes sir corporal then says this Fontes is your asshole sewn up. Fontes what? Corporal is your asshole sewn up? Fontes no corporal corporal well you can't be an officer then because officers are full of shit. My driver's license picture. Okay. You know how nobody has a good picture? I was afraid that I'd look high if I kept my neutral expression. So I decided to look animated. Ended looking like, and this is the description given by a fellow private, a meth addict Jack Sparrow. Freshly escaped from a loony bin. Drill sergeant took one look at it. Damn near fell down laughing. Not me but a story from a friend. So my friend. 
let's call him Chuckles, joins the IDF as an American volunteer. Now what Americans call drill instructors or drill sergeants in Hebrew is mefaked. Which is pronounced very similarly to my duck head. So Chuckles, being a joker, starts calling his mefaked my duck head really fast and trying to get it past him. One day the mefaked hears it and yells at him. Do you think I don't speak English? Get on the ground and start doing push ups and I'll tell you when you can stop. I know you're calling me duckhead. So Chuckles says no mefaked. I can't help it. It's my accent. The mefaked turns away and is doing his damn desk to hide it but his shoulders are shaking he's laughing so hard. And he just walks away. After laundry was done they threw it on the floor in a big pile. Your name is stenciled on every article of clothing so one guy would stand next to the pile. Pick up an article of clothing. Read the name and then throw it at the owner as we walked around him in a circle. So we took one of our mesh laundry bags and carefully cut it to look like a thong. Then stole a pink highlighter and colored it pink and wrote our drill instructor's name on it and snuck it into the laundry. The day comes to pass out laundry and he sees it. Loses his ducking sheet starts screaming. WHO the duck owns this. I'm going to duck your whole world up. He picks it up. Sees his name and had to leave the room he was laughing so hard. That we got the sheet beat out of us for about 1.5 hours. Basic at FT. So. Oklahoma. We were all taking basic life support classes and we had a medic come through and show us some basics. As the class progressed. He stopped to take a moment to answer any questions. One of the recruits, who was different, asked what to do if the helmet was to fuse to someone's skull. Everyone was pretty dumbfounded at the question and his seriousness. Our DS had seen and heard some things in their time but that was next level. P.S. If the helmet gets hot enough to melt onto someone's skull, that person is probably dead and you probably don't have to worry about treatment. Drill sergeants will often play a trick on new recruits with MREs. MREs come with crackers that are super dry and I am pretty sure they are made with sawdust. Well they say that if you can eat them all in 2 minutes without drinking anything you can have the day off. So all of us dumbasses tried it. 8 crackers is no big deal. Right? Yeah. Most of us couldn't even handle half of that. One kid had all 8 jammed in his mouth. Fruitlessly chewing on a cracker paste and then he sneezed.